I think it's very important to acknowledge the fact that a lot of people who are on the internet, their brains simply aren't fully developed. That's people that are our age. Like, uh, and it's all fine and good to say this is wrong. It's basically Google on steroids. You just put a prompt and it gives you some answer. Make sure that the, the, uh, the company that makes the AI is following the rules. <laughs> the key point is that if you see a dog or a window or a chair, you know how to interact with it. And you know it because you're human, you have moral control, you have social control, you're emotionally intelligent, so you know that you interact with a chair in a different way than a, than a dog. To my point of view, we basically see it as the same way. We just see image and we, we have a, li a lot of images of the dogs, AI and human beings, and we just recognize patterns and we, this way we understand objects. When it all came together is when we had the Metaverse presentation and it was really interesting how they were saying that it's not really what you see, how realistic it is, but more about the connection you have with others and the community. Yeah, uh, one thing is uh, the Metaverse right now, what it has, uh, there's still like a way to go on with realism. How do you think this will be solved like in the long term? What really is realism? Like, you know, there's an interesting interesting thing to note about the games I mentioned, Roblox, Minecraft, and Fortnite. They're graphically simpler than the games that came before. I'm sort of trying to understand how a virtual space like this could work with the sport that's as slow paced. Realism or the sense that the world is real. Is people not. like us, the young people, use it a lot. So I feel like uh, obviously we might not be as mature as the others, but our ideas I feel like are really good. We need to have a third party source that verifies whether or not this is actually taken part properly. Yeah. So like you mean an extra person? Yeah, like, 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 like McKinsey for the ratings with... Or like the USDA for food. I, so a three year old can use AI. If they want to. Like, I mean, there's no harm in there's no harm in them asking ChatGPT questions. Uh, bias and in, like and incorrect information. Minimize. Bias and incorrect. incorrect. I believe AI shall not harm humans at all. Never, not even if it's in self-defense or under government supervision. Um, AI should not have the power to affect us. It it goes back to the point that like AI is essentially subject to the banality of evil. It cannot really take an opinion for itself, so so AI is going to just be regurgitating those opinions. To treat AI like a human and say that it's not going to do that is just wrong. <laughs>